the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh visit the Atomic Energy Research Establishment at Harwell. First of all, they are shown Dido, the most powerful research reactor in Western Europe, which began operating less than four months ago. Dido's main purpose is to give data on the effects of corrosion and radiation on atomic fuel elements. The fuel, which is transported by crane in a 12-ton flask, is heavily enriched uranium. Harwell workers look on as the royal visitors are shown the master slave manipulator, a new British device for the handling of dangerous radioactive substances in safety. It can do the most delicate work with almost as much sensitivity as the unaided human hand. How about blowing out the match? There's no need, this machine can't burn its fingers. With the aid of a television camera, the manipulator can be used from a distance of half a mile. But it's time for a visit to the radiochemistry plutonium laboratory, where scientists of the chemistry and metallurgy divisions are carrying out research into the properties of this precious fuel under the most stringent safety precautions. The workers handling the plutonium are clothed like spacemen, and their instructions are telephoned through a thick screen. Just one more example of the complex difficulties facing the men who are keeping Britain in the forefront of atomic research.